Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. I know this tutorial is a quite a bit late. Uh, it's I was supposed to release this at 12 o'clock today, but I didn't. And the reason I haven't made the newest or today's tutorial until now is because I've been busy working on a Roblox project so that I can better know how to use this new Roblox Studio 2013 interface. Just a quick observation about the interface, which is still being upgraded on a very regular basis. It, it just since last week when it came out, I've gotten like four updates. But the thing I wanted to know is on my project, I've been doing more building than usual. I used to script almost exclusively. That used to be almost the only thing I did because the building was so quick and easy. But this project I've been building more uh, than I normally do, and it's been crashing a lot. Now when I'm scripting, it doesn't usually crash because the scripting is just text files, I guess. But when I'm moving bricks around or I have to press undo or something, it usually crashes. The way around this is to hit Alt-P and update your place without having to leave and re-enter. But that's sort of annoying at times as well. Another issue I've found is sometimes if you hit Alt-P Alt and you update your game, when you get back to editing, this properties menu over here, this properties menu will like freeze up and only show the object you had clicked on last time before the property or the uh, update. And that's really annoying when I'm more uh, when I have to precisely put a brick somewhere and I can't just use these tools up here to do it, I have to literally go into its properties and move it over like a tenth of a stud. So those are a couple of my issues uh, with Roblox Studio uh, 2013. Besides that, there's a lot of things I like, like in my last tutorial I talked about. I love this new collision check and I love the new scripting editor if they could fix the whole line wrapping thing which I talked about. That's those are my that's what I've gotten out of Roblox Studio 2013. Besides that, there's a couple things that have changed that I really don't care too much about. And then there's also some things that haven't really changed and I've been quite happy that they're still the same. Now, let's get to the actual meaning of this tutorial. And the meaning of this tutorial is to get started with image labels. We're not going to actually put an image on there yet, but we're going to get at least a good start. So we're going to go to our GUI, and we're going to just delete this text label because we don't need it anymore. And now we're going to go, where is it? Ah, basic objects, insert basic objects. And I gotta reteach you guys a little bit of how you insert object basic objects now. Instead of clicking it and clicking OK and then it being over here. And by the way, just a tip, check this off because it makes life much easier. Instead of just doing that, now you have to this will stay up. It's like an extra tab. And uh this'll just stay here. Which is nice. So in frame we're going to find image label double click it and you guys see this basic objects thing is still here but this is over here so it did insert it it just didn't really do anything to really tell us besides making uh, selecting it and popping it up now this image label we're going to continue practicing our awesome abilities of centering things yeah there we go so we're going to make it about oh I don't know four by two so that means we have to go to point three and point four and now it's centered so you're going to see in image labels much like we saw with text labels and frames a lot of the same properties so I'm not going to go over all of them again but we are just going to go and look what's new here what what's missing from text labels to image labels. Well first off we see we don't even have that whole text section so there's no font, uh, there's no text color or anything like that. 
And next up, we actually see, okay, we had a decal tutorial, right? Um, or at least a little bit of a decal tutorial. A lot of the things that decals can do, image labels can't do. So don't think that an image label is just a GUI decal. It's not. A decal is a 2D image in a 3D space. An image label is a 2D image in a 2D space. So that's actually a big big difference uh, when it comes to what it can what it should be used for. We also see we have the background color and all that, but down here we even see new properties called image. This image is much like the um, I think it's image or maybe it's texture property of decals. Decals, they just show the image. Image labels, this is the same thing. You have the same kind of link. You have to subtract one from the decal, get the um, Roblox asset ID or link, and all of that. It's basically the same thing as back then when it comes to this property. So don't you don't have to worry about learning a new way to put in this property link. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, the size restraint and all of this is the same. So since I wasted so much of your time, guys, uh, talking about Roblox Studio 2013, I'm going to cut the tutorial. Actually, not really short, but I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to wish you all a happy Tuesday. And tutorials will be back on track starting tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.